with the leaves on the tree starting to turn crispy and temperatures plummeting, it might soon be time to hang up those racing leathers until next season. But that doesn't necessarily mean you have to put the motorcycles away. Today, we're at Butts Farm in the beautiful Derbyshire countryside to try out the entire 2022 range of gas gas motorcycles. We've got motocross bikes here, we've got the enduro range, we've got the trials range and we've even got some of the e-mountain bikes to test out as well. So today is going to be a fun filled day off road getting mucky. It's time to hang up the racing boots, don the off road wellies and go and get dirty. Jopsy, roll the intro. First group of people are out on the trials. I'm on. <laughs> I'm starting on the motocross, which I'm quite pleased. Well, sort of pleased about. It's uh, the best out of a scary job. I didn't want to start on the trials, having never ever ridden a trials bike before. So we're starting on the motocross track, the enduro track. That's the enduros over there. The enduro track's going to be quite a little bit technical. Great. I've not done any off-road for two years. We've got the master of off-road with, with us. We have Mossy. I like your gloves, Mossy. We've got Carl from Fast Bikes. Hi, right, Carl. How you doing, buddy? All right. We've got Chad, Mossy. We've got the crew here. We've got the crew. Best guys on the best bikes first. The dream team. Or is it the uh, the least experienced people off road? I think is what we've actually got, isn't it? So this is the 450 Gas Gas. Looks the part, doesn't it? Looks absolutely lovely. Do like the red paintwork. The so last time I went on the motocross track, I came off and broke my ribs. Yeah, this could be an interesting day. God, I thought I could have done with a little bit of a warm up today, actually. This is going to be an absolute baptism of fire, isn't it? I'm feeling like a complete worse already. Whoa, hey! Jeez! Well, I'm shit. The bike. Feels incredible. Oh, air, air time. Jeez. Oh, oh, the bike is so capable. Brakes are great, suspension's amazing. Obviously, being very lame here. That's the world champion. Yep, he's better than me. Oh, bit of wheel. Wheels out. Oh, jeez, I'm hot. I'm lacking already. Oh, I love it off there. God, it's hard work this, you know. If you're looking to buy one of these, I think you're probably better off watching someone else's video. <laughs> Let's be honest. If you're looking to get into it and try it, then maybe stick around. Jesus Christ! Oh, that's my testicles. I forgot that drop was there. Oh, that's my testicles smashed. Oh dear. It's a good job without any more kids. Jeez. Remember your training. When it gets loose. A high power. <laughs> it's 
Spin that up, baby. Spin her up. Testicles. Oh, jeez. Let's be honest. Testicles. Oh, it is a young man's game, this, but as I said at the beginning, if you want to have a bit of fun, and the sun goes in and the rain starts falling and the weather temperatures drop, this you will not have more of a laugh riding one of these around, I tell you. I'm knackered. <laughs> There's Mossy. Give it some beans, Mossy. Do you want to swap? Sure, what you got? Both got four fifties here. Yeah. Is it two stroke or four stroke? Yeah. It's a four. Yeah, this is a little bit more friendly. I stitched up a little bit going straight on the the 450. I feel still got so much power. You got a pull? Yeah, plenty of power. Hey, yeah, 250s more me. I think feels a little bit more beginner friendly, a bit less power, and it could be just this bike, but I also feel the suspension could be set up a little bit softer on this as well. I think it's the same spec suspension. So it's probably just a setup. Well, task one achieved. I've got the feel for off-road once more. Not much, but a start. Let's go and have a lie down somewhere. There's Boosie. Go on, Boosie. Show us how it's done. Show us your skills. Impressive, impressive stuff. Ran a marathon yesterday, apparently. Well, I think he ran half a bit, walked the rest. I'm not doing that. Yeah, this is, 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 is going to be... Uh, this Chris again. It's going to be very foreign for me. I may not do this. I think this is why KTM bought Gas Gas because they didn't have any trials bikes in their range mainly and obviously Gas Gas have some real proper trials bikes so I think it was an easy way for KTM to get some uh, trials bikes into the range and obviously bring in their own Enduro Mercos bikes to Gas Gas as well so a bit of a perfect partnership. Mossy, your go. I wish I was that good. You're going to give that go, Mossy, in a minute. The clip, the rock face there. Oh you yeah. See that? No, yeah, no. yeah. After me tea, John. After I mean, tea. On, oh, sorry, mate. I'm sorry. Me. I'm sorry. I'm rushing you I mean, in. It won't be a problem, but you've just got to wait. <laughs> Next up, we have the Enduros from motocross to Enduros. We've got the full range here from 300 two strokes, 254 strokes, 252 strokes, 354 strokes. I didn't notice there was a 254 stroke, I would have started with that one, but I've got the uh, 350F four stroke. As you can see, it looks very much like you know, the KTM ranges. Only difference is really, I think the brakes are slightly different spec brakes, doesn't have an expansion chamber in the exhaust there and I think the KTM version does basically the gas gas is a little bit more affordable so you've got the uh, so the gas gas is sort of the the cheap I wouldn't say budget because it's not budget these are all sort of eight grand plus these bikes but the entry level for <laughs> the brand is the sort of gas gases and then the KTM sit in the middle and I think the Huskies are seen as like the the upper end of, of the scales the way it works but Linkages in the suspension, the KTM's mount directly to the swinging arm, so I'm really interested to try this. The actual circuit we're going around, the loop, I think is a, I think it's quite a long loop. There's a really technical looking uphill bit there, which I'm quite scared about. <laughs> let's go and see how we get on. Josh, what do you know about drift cars? Nothing. Pop their shite. That's all I know about them, mate. Straight into it. Scared already. Wet rocks. Instant death. God, it's been a while since I've done this. <laughs> I'm 
just a much friendlier machine than the, the moat crossers. WP suspension still. <laughs> this is uh, quite technical for a complete new who hasn't ridden for three years. And only ever really did quite easy green lanes. <sighs> I'm a bit scared. I didn't even found the back brake and stuff yet. Remember those A.D. Smith days, Chops? Thing is, 50 year olds don't bounce. It's amazing, off-roading is like, it's not like riding a bike. <laughs> if you don't do it for a while, you completely forget what it's like. It's, yeah, it's, uh, sort of, it's a bit like doing wheelies. You've got to keep your, you've got to keep your, uh, you've got to keep yourself in, you know, you've got to keep doing it. Otherwise you just forget. Big time. Hold on too tight, it's a trouble. Oh. This is gnarly, isn't it? This is really gnarly. So it's done. Let's have a go. Oh, I have to stand up one eye. We're going stand up, chaps. You've got to stand up. Let's just get familiarised myself with the bike a little bit. It's quite wet. We've had a bit of rain now. Slippery rocks. All that jazz. What I'm planning to do is uh, borrow some of the range of gas gases, you know, for over a couple of week period and take them on my local lanes, get to know them a bit better. Do feel like I'm sort of thrown in at the deep end here a little bit. I mean, it's not, not when you get used to it, I suppose, but it's when you haven't done it at all for three years and you've put on about two stone. <laughs> it is very, very physical. So I'm going to take some out locally to me, get to know them a bit better. So if that's in, if that's of interest, stick around and we'll see how we get on with these bikes. Now, from a novice perspective, I mean, these are, within the KTM group, you know, the gas gases are the cheaper of the three brands. You know, the Husky, the KTM, the gas gases are the more affordable ones. So still fantastic. You know, it's just slight changes like to the brakes and stuff just to save a bit of cost you know um but you know these are at least about 800 pounds cheaper than the equivalent ktm so if you're looking to get into this off-road malarkey subscribe to the channel i borrow a couple of these and we'll see how we live with them you know for a couple of week period on local green lanes it's probably not that bad well i think it's what i think it looks a lot worse than it would be to actually do it i think it's one of those isn't it there we go yeah it's that easy that's a no. Go on, Carl. Gas it. Gas, gas. Gas, gas. Power, power, power. Go, 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 go. It was a valiant effort. You're going for it again, Carl. Yeah, you can do it. You're going to beat it. Yeah. It made me look like a right <laughs> Go on, Laura. Ah, same bloody thing. Come on, Marcy, get involved. Well, hey, give it some, give it large. He's got it cracked. <laughs> Go on, attempt number two, or is it three? Very brave, I have to say. Oh. 
so close. I'm definitely not having a go. You're right. You had a nasty scrape along the rock then. You're right. You're right. Didn't you scrape yourself down the rock or anything. He can do that as many times as he wants. Doesn't make it any easier. Come on, Carl. Third time lucky. Come on. I didn't fall off. Huge respect to you two. I'm not. I'm not having a go. Huge respect to you two. Attempt number four. Oof. You all right? You all right? Yeah. <laughs> oh God. Like, you're going to go again. Are you had enough now. No, I'm going to go. Again. You're going to go again. Fair play. Gas it. I love your determination. Inspiring. Inspiring stuff. Do it. Power, 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 power. Yes. Oh, well done. Well done. Hey. Fist pump. You've got to come down now. Nail it. Oh. Oh, such a shame. Go on, Laura. Attempt number six. Is it six? Six. Go on. Plenty of gas. Gas, 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 gas. Gas, 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 oh, so close, that bike may need a few extra new panels on it after this, Simon, so close, what a shame, so close. It's a fair play to Carl and Laura there, an incredible effort getting up that hill much braver than me I didn't even want to try and do that incline I didn't want to hurt myself I may look like a football but unfortunately at 50 I don't bounce like one the next thing we're doing which I'm actually a little bit worried about is these the trials bikes I've never done trials trials it's a, it's a mammoth amount of bike control I'm pretty good at low speed bike control but this is takes it to the next level on the trials bike so we're going to see how we get on. There's quite a complex course over here with jumps and stuff. And I'm a little bit scared of this, to be honest. So I'm going to take it a little bit easy. I'm not going to push myself too hard, as I haven't all day. <laughs> but it's nice to try these things. So to now, let's hit the trials bikes. We've got a few different models here. We've got the 125. We've got the 300. We've got, what's that one? 250. Is that a 280? The whole range of trials. Which one's the easiest to ride? I want that one. I tell you now, I'm not doing that. Professionals only. The GoPro won't do this justice, but that is uh, quite an incline. <laughs> oh, so sheer rock face. I'm mad. Absolutely bonkers. years of age. Makes it look easy. Fist pump for that effort. Boosh. Brilliant. Look <laughs> at the size of this. <laughs> You're not gonna, this, is, this isn't going to suit my sit down style of riding at all. Just lift your bum up. That's a 300. One, two, five. To the lady. Okay. Frankly, she deserves it more than that. So we're going to put you on the 300. Okie doke. Look at that lunatic. That is insane. That is insane. He does know it's a dead end. He's just seen how far he can get. You're pulling that down a bit. I'm scared just watching. Feet at 10 to 2. Lean in. One finger. One finger on each. One finger on each. Let go. Gotcha. Oh dear. 
Interesting. I don't know if you how much of that you heard. It's all about the hips. All in the hips, basically. You need to do your Elvis. If you take your foot off the peg. Move your hips forward, foot forward. You won't be able to see this one. Oh, Christ, nearly. So he's saying, get used to having your foot off of the, the pegs and, and using that to counterbalance the bike if necessary. So that's, that's, that's really difficult. <laughs> Bloody brilliant. There's a lot of skill in this. This is all about slow speed bike control. You know, you, you can master this and these skills you know, can be used on any bike, you know? This is it, it's all, it's all bike control. You master this, use it in enduro, motocross, you know, even road riding to a degree. What we've learned so far, in case you didn't hear that, one finger on clutch, one finger on the brake. Feet at 10, sticking out at 10 and 2, so you've got more leverage. Setting the throttle with the base of your palm. So just leaving the bike revving and put a little bit of brake resistance in all of the time. So you're not blipping the throttle. You're using the brake to control your speed. Wait, no, you're using the clutch to control your speed, actually. The brake is just setting a little bit of resistance to hold your throttle until, of course, you need to do some braking. And then, using your hips, pushing the bike down, getting behind it. And then start taking your, using your knee, like this to balance the bike, like this. <laughs> it's a lot to think about. That's it now, end of the day. I'm absolutely shattered. I didn't realise how unfit I was until I came here. I've actually been doing it. I've been at the gym for about three weeks as well. Thank God I did that or I'd be absolutely dead. Absolutely knackered, but what a fantastic day. Off-road, getting muddy, learning about the new gas gas bikes. Have to say, very, very impressed, you know. These are, you know, these slot in at the lower range of that KTM group models, you know. So you've got the gas gases, which are about, on average, about £800 cheaper than the KTM equivalent. And of course, you've got the Huskies at the upper end, which is sort of three or four hundred more than the, the KTM models. And to me, I couldn't tell any difference. You know, I know there's some different brakes, etc., to make a bit of cost saving, but couldn't feel it, couldn't feel it. Absolutely brilliant, love the trials, absolutely love the trials. Makes me want to do more of that now. Um, I also want to borrow some bikes, get them home, take them out my local routes, and uh, you know, learn them a bit more in the comfort on trails you're actually used to. Because um, for me, being a complete beginner, some of these are a little bit technical today, and I would have liked to have pushed a little bit harder, but I didn't want to risk hurting myself. <laughs> yeah, I'm a wuss. I'm 50, I don't bounce like I used to. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you do, please think about giving me a subscribe. I'll be testing more of the range of gas gas machines, plus the KTM, and hopefully some Huskies as well. We can compare them, and join me for my enduro journey during the winter. Cheers, guys. This is power level one, which is full power. <laughs> I could do that all day. What have you done here? <laughs> I told you I was scared back there. I've never dropped a bike before in my life. Oh! Backfire! That's it! That's it! <laughs> Listen to me.
Charlie Frost. One more, in case you missed it. Jeez. Incredible, absolutely incredible. Love it. All of this is, you're here to test all these bikes. You cannot test the bike if you do not learn the right techniques. It's like me getting that camera and going, I've got, I've got to test it, I don't know how to use it. That's basically Chris. <laughs> yeah, that's why he does that as well, so don't worry. <laughs> <laughs>